I've had several inquiries about how to modify a calculator into a coil counter. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how I did that. I have two leads coming out of the calculator, which are attached to the equal button, and then connect to a read switch. This is a very simple small hand winder that I constructed using wood, a quarter inch threaded rod, quarter inch bolts, an aluminum window crank, and two rubber washers. I have simply hot glued a small magnet to the threaded rod and hot glued a reed switch with leads and alligator clips attached to the base. This is the reed switch that I'm using. There's a link in the description area for more information. Let's briefly go over how a reed switch works. Basically there are two metal reeds inside a sealed glass enclosure. In its static position, the reeds are open, or not in contact with each other. But when induced to a magnetic field, the metal reeds become closed, making what's called a reed relay. Let's hook up the calculator so you can see exactly how this works. You have to initially enter 1 plus 1 in order for the counter to work. Now every time the magnet comes within range of the reed switch, the equal button on the calculator is activated. So now let's get inside here and see what's going on. This is a really cheap calculator that I purchased at my local supermarket for under $2. It has paper circuitry instead of an actual breadboard. A calculator with an actual breadboard would be a lot better because you would be able to solder your connections instead of taping them as I did here. You will need to identify where the equal button connections are and simply attach two leads with either solder or tape. Looking a little closer, you can see where I've used aluminum tape to hold my leads. I've highlighted two separate areas with red and green outlines. The pair to your right have nothing to do with the connection, but I just wanted to illustrate what was hidden behind the tape for visual purposes. So here on the left, where the equal button sits, you would simply tape one lead to the green area and another lead to the red area. Now that we've connected our leads, Let's put the calculator back together, hit 1 plus 1, and begin counting. I hope this tutorial helped you, and good luck with your projects.